and exercise your God-given gifts. Daniel chapter 1 and verse 17. As for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. A very important aspect of Daniel's life, walk with God and his journey, is that Daniel recognized very early on what his strengths were, what his God-given gifts were, and he aligned himself to those gifts, and he dared to exercise those gifts. As we read here, God had blessed Daniel and his friends with grace and ability to learn, and uh, given them skill in all learning and all wisdom. And Daniel was specially endowed with the ability to understand visions and dreams and to interpret visions and dreams. Now, that, that kind of a gift may not be something all of us have, but the point I want to make is this, that the point that we see in Daniel's life is that he recognized what God had endowed him with and he dared to step out on it. As we read through the book, go to, read through the book of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 2, we see how Daniel dared to step out on that gift. When the king had issued a decree that because the wise men of his court were unable to tell him his dream and interpret the dream, he ordered his soldiers to go and kill all the wise men in his court. This was King Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel interjects that and he tells the, the, the soldier, you know, why is the king so hasty? And then he goes over the king and he asks him for time. He says, just give me one night and I'll come back. What was Daniel doing? He was stepping out on a strength that he knew that God had blessed him with, on a gift that he knew God had placed in his life. We see the same thing in Daniel chapter 5 as Daniel is called by Belshazzar and asked to interpret uh, the handwriting on the wall and give him the meaning of that. And later on in the book of Daniel, Daniel goes into a, a time of trying to understand visions and dreams that God had spoken and given to him. Daniel exercised his God-given gift and that opened up doors for his life. When you and I recognize the strengths God has placed in our lives, and when you and I begin to exercise, move out on those gifts, doors will open and we will step into the destiny that God has for us. So what about you? Are you recognizing the God-given gifts, strengths and skills that He has placed in your life, which is unique to you? And are you exercising them? Are you moving out on them? When you do that, you will rise up and move in to your God-given destiny. Let's pray. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that by your Holy Spirit, you'll make us aware of what you specially endowed us with, God. The gifts, the graces, the strengths, the abilities that you've blessed us with. Help us to recognize that and help us to move out on that, to exercise those gifts. And we know that as we do so, you will open up doors for us to move into our destiny. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.